Laura Wider is a psychotherapist from Northampton who says we need to give young boys in our society a new way to play. She's developed the Wonder Crew. They're toys aimed at preschool boys and at helping them build their emotional intelligence and creativity. Laura Wider came in to tell us more about her Wonder Crew and what she hopes to accomplish. Grow up with cultural messages from early on that teach them that feelings and emotional connections make them weak. I want to change that. I want to help redefine what it means to be strong. I read that one of the things that, that spurred you toward the Wonder Crew guys that we, they're on the table here, and we're going to look at them a little more closely in a couple of minutes, but your own son came home from preschool and he said, you know, they told me boys aren't supposed to cry. What did that say to you? I was floored, first of all. I, I could not believe what I was hearing. Um, to me, it said that these stereotypes, they impact everyone. They affect everyone. And it said to me that something needs to change. You also have said for years you've worked with clients, men I presume, mm -hmm. who are stifled by hyper-masculine stereotypes in our society. Flesh that out for us. What, what does that mean? What, what does that do? Well, we live in a culture that prioritizes toughness and self-reliance, um, vulnerability, emotional connection, empathy. These are not characteristics that um, we teach boys and men to value. Our society has created these hypermasculine stereotypes that are impossible to reach. You know, it is impossible to be tough all the time, to be, um, to not need anyone, to, uh, you know, again, just to be tough physically, emotionally, and it's impossible. And then when clients or when people fail at this, you know, the, the consequences are often anxiety, depression, aggression. This doesn't bode well. This is not working. Well, let's take a look. The camera's going to get some shots here on, on the table. We've got uh, three of your, your Wonder Crew guys, if you will. Uh, you said the idea is to build emotional intelligence and creativity through these toys and address the developmental needs of the whole boy, mm -hmm. not just those commonly recognized as the masculine traits. What, you know, again, flesh that out for us a little bit. What, what do you hope these toys, right. these Wonder Crew guys, do for, for the preschool guys they're aimed at? Right. So traditional toys for boys right now, um, take action figures, for example. Action figures are, are pretty heavy on the muscles these days. Um, you know, and that's not to say that action figures are bad necessarily, but we don't have a lot of variety right now in boys' play. Action figures, for example, um, they, they come with their own storyline, um, which doesn't give much room for um, imagination or creativity on the boys' end. They also um, are often idealized by boys. And what is it that boys are idealizing? Well, often they're idealizing the muscles, the toughness, you know, kind of further perpetuating these stereotypes. And, and so often it seems to me it's, it's about winning, it's about competing, somebody's a winner, right. somebody's a loser, <clears throat> cowboys and Indians. Right. Cowboys usually beat the Indians, long run, certainly in the, in the movie or whatever the play. That's something I gather you're trying to get away from with the Wonder Crew? Right, right. We're trying to show here that, that real fun, that, um, that real strength is about friendship, teamwork, connection, um, and, you know, just the great adventure that follows. I, I know you say one of the things you want to do is, and, and these are... I want to be careful with the word because I don't know how boys would react to it, but, but these, are, these are cute little guys right. with nice faces. And you say, you know, toys that have a human face that would encourage somebody to, to be friendly, to have empathy. You don't see in the boys' toy aisle. They're on what you call the pink aisle, mm -hmm. the girl section. And most boys won't even go down that aisle, right. you know, because they'll get girl dust on them at, at that age. They certainly don't want a toy from there. And you say a message automatically is, is sent to boys about what it means to be a man in our society. Right. Well, the fact that the only place right now for boys to find, a to or I'm sorry, the only place for children to find toys that encourage friendship, empathy, any kind of connection really, is the pink aisle. And it's sending the message to boys that this kind of play is not for them. So it's that this is not for you part. It's that here is, this is for you. You know, the, the toughness, the weapons, that's all fine and good. 
but you know the nurturing component it's not and you know back to what you were saying Jim Wonder Crew is about addressing the whole child you know going beyond the stereotypes there is nothing right now in boy culture um, in boy toy culture I should say that that looks at the heart there's there's nothing there that encourages kindness connection empathy and I think that's a problem and, and I, I guess you're trying to and, and explain this because I'm not going to do it well but but kind of trying to uh, create a, a unity or a friendship between the boy mm -hmm. and the Wonder Crew toy because rock stars got sunglasses there's a pair of rock star yeah. sunglasses that come for for the preschooler that, that's going to pay play with rock star uh, for superhero there is also a, a matching mask and, and cape. Mm -hmm. For a builder, there, there's a hard hat. It, it's it, empathy, it, it's, it's learning. What's, what's that all about to, to bring them together? Right. So I think the part that, that makes Wonder Crew different from other toys on the market right now for boys is that crewmates have been designed to feel like peers or equals to boys, which helps them tap into their own strengths and real abilities. Um, and then just to kind of help further um, bring about that imaginative play, we've included a matching piece of adventure gear for the child to wear, which you know, adds to um, the team-like feel. I know we're seeing some progress in the area of toys for girls, in the area of science, technology, math, which so often was not the case. I mean, boys got the, the tough toys and girls got the, the dolls and that was it. But nobody, you say, is doing the same thing the other way for boys to let them express mm -hmm. different feelings, learn emotions, and that's what Wonder Crew's about. That's right, that's right. Um, I've been so thrilled to see the recent sh surge of STEM toys on the market for girls. Um, I think that the assumption often is, and I, I think uh, most parents would agree, that, that boys are all right. You know, um, the boys can kind of just take care of themselves. You know, we, we do, we raise our boys very different um, from how, very differently from how we raise our girls. I want to draw you out on something you said a minute ago about Wonder Crew. You're looking to bring feelings and emotional connection into everyday play for boys. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. I mean, they, these, these are friendly looking guys. There, there's the, the matching toy, if you will, to mm -hmm. go with it. You know, talk about that, what, what that's going to mean to, to boys, you think? Right. Well, Wonder Crew aims to give boys the green light on emotional connection and empathy. Um, if you take a look at these crewmates, you know, they're smaller than, than the boys playing with them. I think that that just instinctually brings about sort of a caretaking uh, role for boys. And, um, you know, it, it allows boys to, if they want, be the nurturer, the caretaker, but also the problem solver, the hero, the, you know, it allows boys to put on many hats. Let's talk business now a little bit, getting it done. You're working with a terrific group we've had on the show many times, mm -hmm. the Valley Venture Mentors. You're going to seek funding through a Kickstarter campaign. Your hope is to get Wonder Crew crewmates into production this summer. That's right. That's right. Valley Venture Mentors has uh, been um, an amazing support system so far. Um, and I've recently been accepted into the Accelerator program, which will be, you know, an even greater support. Um, right now I'm gearing up for Kickstarter that'll launch uh, in March. My aim is to uh, have Kickstarter fund first production to, to show that, that this is indeed, you know, uh, something that people are interested in. Long term, how do you think changing how boys play in the preschool years can change how men act in their adult years? Sure. So, so happiness studies have shown us that relationships, strong relationships, are key to life success. I'm talking, you know, overall health, well-being, mental health. But, you know, like we said, the only place for boys to find toys that encourage emotional connection is the pink aisle. I believe that if we bring Wonder Crew to the mainstream blue aisle, I believe that if we give boys the mainstream green light on connection, feelings, really just being themselves, that we will see overall rates of depression and aggression greatly decrease. Well, Laura Weider, founder of Wonder Crew, good luck with your idea. Thanks for coming in and spending Thank some time you. with us.